Hey you, welcome to my queendom. I'm Ashley Cole, a certified spiritual and emotional wellness life coach, psychic empath, Reiki practitioner, author, and intuitive reader. I specifically ask Spirit to guide this message to those of you who are meant to hear it. So I'm glad you've decided to join me today. The title of today's channel message is Your Table is Ready. This message is specifically for those who've put in the work to heal, grow, and evolve. I do realize how difficult your journey has been. I have also traveled the road less traveled. But the reason you are seeing me today is because Spirit is so proud of you and has a very important message. So let's get into it. The people who treated you so poorly are about to face a day of reckoning if they haven't already. If they attempt to reach out for forgiveness, it's only because things are not working out in their favor and they believe your forgiveness will lessen their karma. Forgive them anyway. I know, you're probably thinking, hell no. <laughs> Initially, I was thinking the same and that's actually a natural response after someone has hurt you. But remember, forgiveness does not require reconciliation and not forgiving will only block your abundance. You see, in order to receive your abundance, you must move forward from a place of love. You cannot bring the past along with you. You cannot bring negative energy, negative thoughts, negative individuals, or the old you into the future. It will only hinder your spiritual growth. So let God handle them. And you just make sure you're in a space to receive what's in store for you by letting go of things that no longer serve you. Don't block your blessings trying to hold a grudge. You deserve better. These individuals who never believed in you will also be triggered once they realize your dreams are coming true. They may even feel entitled to a seat at your table, not realizing you're aware they've attempted to sabotage your success, slander your name, and attempt to discredit your work. Don't fret. Spirit exposed these individuals to you by removing the veil. It was important for you to know exactly who was in your inner circle and how they truly felt about you prior to you receiving your abundance. It was important for these individuals to lower their guard and show you their true colors so you would know exactly how to handle them moving forward. And in the words of Queen Maya, when people show you who they are, believe them. Spiritual warfare can be quite intimidating and confusing, but one thing I need you to understand is you were hidden and pushed aside for a reason. God always had a purpose, whether we understand it or not. And your gifts were hidden from these individuals for your protection. Spirit knew they'd take advantage of you because they lack unconditional love for self, and they're consumed with greed. God knew they'd abuse your kindness, God knew they'd disregard your gifts and privately laugh at your audacity to believe you had a purpose while constantly siphoning your energy and stealing your abundance. But God needed you to see who you'd allow to remain in your energy. It was important that you see firsthand they would never support you unless you agreed to fulfill their selfish desires. And even then, there would always be an ulterior motive. So when you look back, Remember exactly why you were hidden from these individuals and be grateful. Because honey, you were only hidden until it was time for you to awaken to your truth. Time for you to step into your purpose. Time for spirit to inform you if your table is ready. And not just any table. A table created, situated, elevated, and highly decorated specifically for you in the presence of your enemies. I'm sure by now you realize your enemies are not so obvious. They can be hidden within your inner circle, your family, and even your marriage. You could have literally been sleeping with the enemy himself. But now that spirit has awakened you to this harsh truth, it is your time to step into your power. Unfortunately, these individuals will not be accompanying you. And spirit is guiding you towards individuals who have your best interests at heart. Your soul tribe. Those who breadcrumbed you through negative energy while hiding their hands, wished ill will upon you, were all being watched by God 
And for that very reason, they will now watch God bless you for the pain you've endured while refusing to return the favor, for the negative energy you had to transmute into power. What they failed to realize is Spirit used them to catapult you into your blessings, to strengthen you mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And now no one has the privilege of accessing your energy without coming correct. You now realize how sacred your peace is. You fully understand how sacred your privacy is. You finally learn not everyone should be granted access to your energy or benefit from your gifts. You understand there must be equal give and take and overgiving will only disrupt your peace. You accept that everyone doesn't have as big a heart as you do. And if they do, they've allowed it to grow cold due to refusing to heal. You now realize you are always divinely guided and protected and there was never a need to worry about anyone sending you negative energy. Because one thing we can never run from is reaping what we've sown. And it is time for spirit to handle your light weight while you handle your business. Focus on your abundant future and life purpose. Do not allow the gifts you're receiving to change who you are and remember to always give back to those in need. And if at any time you happen to look back with a heavy heart, remember you chose the road less traveled because deep down you knew you were built for it. See people and things the way they are. Forgive everyone who's hurt you and make room for your abundance. Continue to be of service to those who are ready to shift and grow with you. And then sit back and smile as your abundance in all its many forms makes its way into your peacefully, divinely protected, divinely guided, purpose-filled life. I truly hope this message helps. For those interested in hearing more, feel free to follow or subscribe to my podcast, blog, or YouTube channel by clicking the link in my bio. I really hope that this message resonates with you because that means you have just wowed God, the universe, spirit, and I am very proud of you. If you're interested in my private reading, my Etsy store is now open and I'll be posting collective readings on my YouTube channel. Head over and see if any of my previous readings resonate. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I send you peace, blessings, love, and light. Bye.